everyone and welcome back to the happy heart I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this new video let me preface this video with saying in December when I was shooting my cleaning video my camera that I always use fell off the tripod and y'all it was like a death it was so sad to me oh I could not have I was like oh and I thought I had a protection plan on it, and I turns out I don't. I don't know. My husband bought it for me, and so it was just kind of this unfortunate thing that happened. So I have another camera, thankfully, but it, it doesn't have the flip-up screen, though. And I'm really used to having the flip-up screen and being able to like set up the shot and see what it looks like and things like that. So I've been having a really hard time, actually. So I'm actually in the midst of shooting a cleaning video, but I was so tired of cleaning y'all. I just was over it. So I just wanted to take a break, talk to you guys, sit and chat, and tell you all about uh, what I learned in 2018. I think it's really important to look at the past. I definitely don't think that you should dwell in the past, but I think it's really important to look back and say, well, what did I learn? Or what was my favorite part? Or things like that. The first thing I learned, I learned that it's I learned that it's okay to stand up for yourself and to say that I want to be treated this way as a human being living on the planet. I know that sounds crazy, but it was my reality and I felt like I wasn't being treated very well. And sometimes I think I wasn't taught that it was appropriate or okay to say, no, don't treat me like that. I really grew up believing, like, just let it go, don't make waves, um, kind of like, don't let people into your business, things like that, and that hasn't served me well. This other thing I learned in 2018, I thought was really hilarious. I honestly, no joke, did not know this, and I don't know why. 2018 I was sitting with my girlfriend and we were talking about things and she's like don't you think it would we would be much better off if we could all just agree that we're all needy and I was like yes like cuz to a certain extent like as human beings like we're needy like we want other people around um, we want social aspects of our lives um, we want to feel connected to other people even like if you're insanely introverted you still want to feel connected to other people and I never thought about it in the fact that like yeah we're kind of all needy and nobody ever talks about it so that was like a super eye-opener because looking at social media looking at people from the outside you think they have it all together they don't they don't need me they have a husband they have kids like why would they want to be my friend and then looking back there really is a need for that like you need various friendships and various um, relationships in your life for your life to function and um, be fulfilling I think and I don't think it's bad to say you need that this next thing is kind of interesting because it's something I learned that was a fault within myself which sounds crazy like at this age you think I would like got it all together I'm like I should know but I didn't I really learned that I have a really hard time being consistent I think that I am genuinely afraid to succeed and Honestly, like I have a hard time being super consistent. I kind of tend to do things a lot or not at all. I think I get afraid when things actually do go my way. I put hard work into it and I get success out of it. And I have no idea why I would be so afraid of this or why that's even there. And I think that I'm gonna try to figure that out in 2019. Um, or just kind of figure out how to overcome it because like we can overcome anything. I didn't realize how much I had an issue with being consistent about things. Because I always assumed that I was a hard worker and I knew I was a really hard worker. 
but I think that I kind of go to one extreme to the other a lot. And honestly, it was just something I learned about myself that now I have to figure out how to like overcome and live better. So hopefully in 2019, I'll have figured this out. This next thing is kind of funny because it doesn't, it really does apply genuinely to my life and not really anybody else I know. Um, but my husband travels a lot for a living, which is good because it allows me to stay home and homeschool my son. Um, so it's kind of like the good with the bad. But even before that, he was a Marine and he traveled and he deployed and he did stuff like that. So this has always been kind of a norm. And I think I learned this year that it was okay to say that I missed my husband. Like, it was okay to outwardly miss him. And it was okay to ask for help when you needed help. Like I always thought that I had to kind of figure it all out on my own. Like my husband's gone, I gotta figure it out. Like I have to shoulder all of that. And really this year, I have kind of learned that no, 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 like you don't have to do that. That's not how this life is designed. It's probably been one of the biggest epiphanies because I used to kind of push down all those feelings and people would say, well, you must be used to your husband being gone. And I hate that, hate it with a passion. Like you never get used to your spouse being gone. Like I don't care what they do for a living, but you never get used to it. It was just dealing with some of those emotions and now I feel like it's okay. It's okay to say I miss him. It's okay to miss him. So this last thing, I feel like I should have known, but it really took almost two New Year's to figure this out for me. But honestly guys, I learned that it's okay that your life looks different. It's okay that um, you choose to live a different way than everyone else. I literally had somebody tell me on New Year's that my life looked so glamorous because I homeschooled my child and I got to travel. And in my head, I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding. Because that's just not how I see it. And I would rather have my husband here every single day than get to travel ever again. And I guess it's like, you can't be ashamed of how you wanna live your life. I choose to live this way and I'm so grateful for it. And you never have to apologize because you want to live a certain way. So I never have to feel bad because I want to homeschool my child and nobody else I know does. Or um, my husband travels for a living and nobody else I know does. Um, it doesn't mean that my family is any less functional. It doesn't mean that we love each other any less. It just means that this is the reality of the situation. And it's okay that I want to live that way and it's, o it's all right. I've learned that just because something looks really good on the outside doesn't necessarily mean you know exactly what's going on in the inside. And it's okay to say that I want to live my life differently than somebody else. And I think it took me a long time to feel that way because we look around and we just think we should fit into the mold of what society says. And um, honestly, I just want to fit the mold God told me to, not anyone else. So those are just a few of the things that I learned in 2018. I'm glad that I learned them. I'm glad that I could share them with you. And I definitely have some stuff to work on. Like I'm not a perfect person, but I really wanted to put it out there in the universe that I got something out of this year and that I am continuing to work on myself like we all do every single day. Thank you guys so much for coming over. Thank you for um, checking out this video and seeing all of what I've learned this year. I hope that um, this helps you reflect a little bit on your year and your life. And I will see you guys in 2019. Bye for now.